In San Francisco, a season struggles bore sweet fruit. The defense broke open a 3-3 tie by twice turning over the ball to an offense that converted these gifts into touchdowns. Mel Renfro made the cornerback's classic play to set up the 49ers for the killing blow. A first down pass from Craig Morton to Walt Garrison bent the will of San Francisco. And with time dying, the doomsday defense broke John Brody's last straw. And Dallas won, 17-10. For the first time, another team walked off in sorrow, while the Dallas Cowboys took the magic carpet ride of champions. For Dallas, the third day of January 1971 was truly... Feels. You can't imagine how it feels, because you never met, you never suffered with us like we've suffered, you know, in those losses in the last four years. It's a great reward for these fellows who worked so hard to get there. In the first half of the NFC Championship, the Cowboy offense turned stale and was led to slaughter. But it was another day for the defense, and they played flawless football. The turning point came when John Brody sought out Ken Willard, but found the looming specter of George Andre instead. Calvin Hill converted the turnover into a touchdown, and then Roger Staubach cut through the 49er defense with a series of bold strokes. The 14-3 triumph was the last stepping stone to their appointment with destiny in Super Bowl VI. The Cowboys fell to the Colts in Super Bowl V, but crushed the Dolphins in the big game the following year. Dallas made three more Super Bowl trips in the 70s and won it again in 77. The Niners, meantime, headed the opposite direction. Throughout the rest of the decade, they reached the playoffs only once more. Then, in 1978, Bill Walsh took over as head coach and led a remarkable turnaround in the Bay Area. San Francisco finished with the NFL's best record in 1981, and only the Cowboys stood between them and Super Bowl XVI. The star emblazoned on the Dallas Cowboys' helmet has long been a symbol of excellence, but the 49ers were intent on knocking that star from its lofty orbit. In the first half, Montana threw for two scores and dissected the Cowboys like a skilled surgeon. He also sidestepped them with the nimble grace of a ballet dancer. Montana's second touchdown pass of the half was caught by Dwight Clark. But not every move made by the 49ers was a heads-up play. And the intermission arrived with Dallas leading 21 to 17. Shadows fell on Candlestick and on the 49ers. 
an uncharacteristic sixth turnover led to a go-ahead Cowboys touchdown with 4.19 elapsed in the fourth quarter. There were now two opponents, the Cowboys and the clock. From their own 11-yard line, the 49ers set out to beat them both. to bring this exhilarating, bumpy ride to its climax. So fasten your seatbelts now. We've got turbulence and plenty of it here at Candlestick Park now. Everything hangs in the balance now. The season, the outcome of the Super Bowl birth hangs in the balance. Montana rolling out the right, looking toward the end zone, throwing under pressure, throws his pass. Caught by Clark! Clark got a touchdown! Troy Clark has it! It's a touchdown for the 49ers! What will be forever known as the drive and the catch proved once and for all that this was a season of destiny and that the 49ers were indeed a very special team. The Niners went on to win their first of four titles that decade. The Cowboys remained strong throughout the 80s, but in the Big D, fans came to expect nothing but the highest level of success. The Cowboys were coming off a 13-year Super Bowl drought when Jimmy Johnson led them back to the NFC Championship game in 92 and again in 1993. Not exactly a beautiful day, but hopefully it will be here in about uh, four hours. One more, baby, to the bowl. One more. Hey, for guys to get up, baby, for Sarah Ben In Candlestick Park, the Cowboys met the team considered the NFL's best and vividly demonstrated that next year's champions had arrived a year early. Get tired, all right. He throws it out. Smith's there. He's got the first down coming right to five. Urban Black puts it in. Emmett Smith carries it in. Another third down conversion, and it's touchdown Dallas. The Cowboys' glorious past met its glorious present late in the fourth quarter. Leading 24 to 20 with four minutes to play, conventional wisdom dictated a conservative play call by the Cowboys. The Cowboys come out for the biggest drive in probably 12 years. Aikman is going to throw. Deep slant. Caught. 35. Harper's breaking away. Harper's got midfield. <laughs> Harper's got the 20. Harper's got the 10-yard line. Wow. What a play. <laughs> My goodness. What a play. What a play. <laughs> Crowd is really into it. Aikman, a straight drop, good protection. Over the middle, it's caught by Kelvin Martin at the two. Touchdown! Touchdown, Cowboys! This team's going to Pasadena. NFC champions, folks. From 1-15 in 89 to the Super Bowl four years. That's unbelievable. An unbelievable story. NFC championship, baby. It's fantastic! It's fantastic! Everybody, you did good, hell of a And the only thing else I get to say is, how about them, Cowboys? Yeah! You can 
and you will because you believe you can and you know you will. Win. One, two, three. Win. <laughs> Throws it underneath, Puck over Jack, wide open, 15, 10, barreling to the three, moving to the goal line, touchdown Cowboys! The Cowboys dominated the 49ers and left no doubt about who was the best team in the NFC. Long count, Aikman, five-step drop, over the middle, wide open, Smith, touchdown, caught it at the five, looked around, literally parted the Red Sea and walked on. the throw, short slant, oh, Harper caught it, he's breaking away, 20, he's going to score, Dallas is going to win the NFC Championship again. Hey, it's over now, oh, see you in Atlanta, baby, see you in Atlanta. The Cowboys won the Super Bowl in both 92 and 93, but the Niners weren't about to give up. In 1994, they gave it one more shot against the Cowboys in another classic NFC Championship game. Today is the showdown. They met during the regular season in what proved to be a classic battle. And here we go again. Back to throw again is Aikman. Some pressure gets the pass away. Eric Davis picks it off. He's got a way down the left side. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, 49 San Francisco had lost the NFC title to Dallas the last two years, but the tide was turning. It is 14 to nothing, San Francisco. This game is three minutes old. My goodness. Go, Back to throw is Aikman. Has time. Sends it down the left side. Ball is caught and knocked down. Pump fakes, goes way downfield. He has a receiver out there. It is caught. Touchdown, Dallas. So the shootout begins. Jerry Rice goes out to the left side. The turning point came with eight seconds remaining in the first half. going down without a full effort as the defending world champs, that's for sure. Aikman goes way down the left side, and Deion Sanders has an interception. Young thinking of a quarterback sneak again, breaks to the outside, dives into the goal line, touchdown 49! And the 49ers are going to the Super Bowl. We won't have to hear any more talk about Steve Young getting to the Super Bowl. Now he'll have to win one. Young in trouble. He's going to be sacked. No, gets away. He runs, gets away again, goes to the 40. Young is in trouble, and he got away somehow. Gets away again to the 35, cuts back at the 30. Young might score to the 20, the 50, the 10. He dies. Touchdown, 49ers. Thank <laughs> you.